Welcome back to Retro Rewire. My name is JJ. We have another game related episode, this time at Super Nintendo World in Osaka, Japan. Had a great time, and I'm looking forward to、uh, sharing this video with all of you. And here is pretty much、um, the entrance before you get into like, the, main,、uh, you know, the main park grounds of this area. And we have Mario and Luigi. They're kind of set up here for the holiday season. Really cool to see that. And then here's my cameo. I'm a little bit wet because I had just gotten on the, the Jurassic Park、uh, Splash Mountain type of ride. Got a little bit wet there. But anyhow, here we go. Let's do a pan of what you're going to see as you come out of the castle there, the Mushroom、uh, Kingdom Castle, Peach's Castle. And look at all this. It's a lot to take in. But I guess we're going to start down below with Mario and Luigi, the Mario Bros. And this is kind of the place where you can have your photo taken. And. You know, they're, they're, they're constantly out here. You know, occasionally they do have like、uh, other people dressed as these two coming out to,、uh, you know, kind of give、uh, people a break. On this particular day, it was a little bit hot. And,、uh, but yeah, de de definitely cool to see,、uh, see both of these. And as they exit, you know, don't you worry because, you know, you'll, you'll be kind of、uh, queuing up in the line. And, you know, they're going to have like certain replacements. As you can see, we have a lot of kids, a lot of families. And as they go out, you know,、uh, Toad comes in. Kinopio, as they call him in,、uh, in Japan. And as you can see, everybody's just kind of swarming, including myself. But I'm only going to get so close to kind of get a few shots and let the, let the kiddos here have their,、uh, have their time with old Toad. And, you know, kind of going back to what I was kind of trying to say is there is a lot of little things going on at the park, a lot of like.、Uh, Uh, visual uh, stimuli here just kind of going on with all the coins, all like the Yoshi, the Thwomp, you know, the blocks, the Goombas, the coins. I mean, look at all this stuff, and it's,、uh, it's pretty cool to see. And then, you know, you add all these things that are going on with all the people that are there, and it just kind of、uh, it could be a little bit overwhelming, but in a good way. And they also have all these like interactive blocks. You, in fact, you can buy like little bracelets, and then certain parts of、uh, these, these things that you can interact with will give you like a little thing, a, a little bit more of an experience. Here's just like a little binocular set that has augmented reality. And then we have another take here from the opposite side of where you come in. But anyhow, that's pretty much、uh, the park. Let's go ahead and have a look at one of the rides. Now, this is the Mario Kart ride. And I did have express tickets. You definitely want to have express tickets, otherwise, you're going to be waiting、uh, for sure, like about an hour to get into some of these rides. And I just want to add、um, well, look at this thing this,、uh, this Bowser, this King Koopa. So freaking huge and so freaking awesome. But I do want to add like, you will need a ticket to obviously get inside of Universal Studios Japan. And then you will need an additional, like,、uh, it's, it's not a ticket that you pay for, but you kind of have to sign up to get it into、uh, Super Nintendo World, you know, because you're allotted your little time slot, which can be done so through the app. But here we are, just kind of making our way through the Mario Kart ride. And I want to say, like, the actual ride itself was, for me, it was so so. There was, there was a few parts of the ride that were actually.、Um, A little bit boring, and some parts were actually pretty cool. But getting there, the little the journey to the ride was actually pretty fun because there's all sorts of like,、uh, you know, memorabilia here just kind of hanging out. And it, you know, it has the music playing from the game. You know, we have all like the cups here. And that's pretty cool to see,、uh, you know, especially for me. You know, I've been playing this series since it debuted on the Super Nintendo. So it was definitely awesome to, to see all these things. And there w a s so many things that I wish that I could you know, just take and add to my game room, of course.、I've, I'm probably not the only one. I mean, look at all this great stuff. And you know, this stuff is going to be like pretty much one of a kind, exclusive to,、um, to this,、uh, this set design for the Mario Kart ride. That's a pretty cool lamp. Look at that. All sorts of little knickknacks. And there's a lot of things to see. And there's different things to see if you're going through the regular line. I'm going through the express lane. Now, this area here is available for all, but you know, just on the opposite side of the wall, there's a few other things. You know, we have Teresa there and King Boo. Cute little、uh, design there. And then look at this. We got the ship in the back. And, you know, that's, that's something you're going to see if you're going through the regular line. 
I forget what these mechanical things are called, but I believe they debuted in uh, Super Mario World on the Super Nintendo. But all sorts of cool stuff. Look at that, we have the b bombs. You know, and uh, <laughs> it was great that I was going through the express lane because I had a little bit more time to kind of film things uh, a little bit more calmly. But definitely a lot to take in. You know, we have the Mario Kart t television, the, t the little TV thing that I think, uh, I, I'm not sure when that started, maybe with the Mario Kart on the, on the Wii U. And this is the area where you put on a little cap because this ride kind of combines augmented reality. And then here they're just kind of giving you a briefing. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't film while I was on the ride because it's a little bit too intense. But um, yeah, like I said, the ride was a little bit so-so for me, but I still would recommend it. And as you can see, there are 50-minute wait time if you don't have an express pass. But now let's go ahead and make our way into the other ride, the Yoshi's Island Adventure Ride. Now this one is actually perfect after a long day of walking. <laughs> you know, th this gives you like the rest. And then, you know, you know you're going to be walking, you're going to be waiting. And, you know, especially if you have kids, you know, this is going to be the ride um, for them, especially because there's a lot of little things to see. Like here, you know, we have like little um, some coins. The Piranha, Thwomp, there's just a lot of little things. And pretty much here, I'm just going to like uh, let you guys enjoy this part. You could, uh, you know, feel free to skip on ahead if you don't want to see. But I'm just going to let it play. And it's pretty much going to go through the entire course of the ride. And then here we go, we have the baby Yoshis. We're pretty much at the end of its course here. It's a, like I said, it, you know, it's a, it's a pretty relaxing ride. And I was certainly happy to be on this ride. And I'm kind of just pointing the camera, but I'm also kind of looking at other directions just because I sometimes it's best to experience these things without looking through like a little camera screen. But I definitely wanted to, you know, film it as best as I could uh, just to kind of share this with all of you. 
but all sorts of little stuff around here now now for this like i don't know if it's actually worth like the wait time i think this one had an even greater wait time than uh than the mario kart ride for for some odd reason but but you know if you're here you're gonna be feeling the euphoria and you're gonna get hungry now here's like the yoshi snack island menu and i ended up getting one of these strawberry uh, lassies the calzone thingy and these are just like little um containers to hold your drink but here's the red one now these little they're kind of like like pork bun type things and uh they're actually not bad the lassie was actually pretty good the little strawberry lassie and we ended up getting the red and the green and then we have Kinopios or Toad's Cafe. Now, for this one, you also need to get a separate ticket to get in. And that'll kind of tell you, like, the, the time slot that you can come back in and get in. They had the winner menu here. And there's actually, once you get in, it's kind of like uh, you still have to wait. I think I waited, like, about 30 minutes before I could place my order. And then look at this. Toad, he has his own kind as ingredients. What's going on there? And not just the one-up. We also have the power up. Look at that. He's cooking himself up. <laughs> we have some mushroom soup here, which I actually did order. You're going to see everything that I ordered. And one thing that was pretty cool was the trash bin here. Look at that. It has the little uh, banana peel. I thought that was pretty neat. They give you this number and you can go to your table. Now, this is kind of like a fizzy uh, peach drink, which is actually, it was actually pretty good. A little bit sweet. And this was like one of the items on the winter menu. That was super sweet, but super tasty. We have a bacon cheeseburger here with uh, some pickled veggies. And that was actually pretty good as well. And I, I do like how they um, kind of presented everything. You know, they have the whole Mario theme going on, especially with the mushroom soup. Look at that. That would be that'd be a way to eat like uh, soups and cereals. <laughs> and, and this soup is actually pretty good. I do enjoy uh, mushrooms in a variety of uh, dishes. And then here we have like the other cheeseburger that was available. And I want to say all in all, I spent um, about maybe close to a hundred bucks for all the food that, that, that we got, that we ordered. So, you know, it isn't, um, it isn't cheap, but you know, what are you going to do? You're here, you're going to be feeling the atmosphere. I mean, look at this. This is the grand hall where you're eating. But speaking of spending money, let's have a look at merchandise. Now, this was at the main entrance. So they have merchandise throughout the park, not just at Super Nintendo World. But for the sake of this video, we're going to go back to Super Nintendo World. And after you get off the Mario Kart ride, it conveniently um, has you exit at the Mario Kart Motor Store. And you can get all sorts of little knickknacks like these Bullet Bill snacks, these other snacks. They have so many snacks and, of course, all sorts of little keychain and trinkets. And, man, it's kind of hard to, like, avoid this stuff because, you know, you know, being a fan of uh, the games and, you know, growing up with this stuff, you know, you definitely want to have a lot of this stuff. And some of these things are just exclusive to uh, Universal Studios Japan. So if you're there, it just makes sense. I actually got a few of these and uh, some of them as gifts, some of them for myself. But it's definitely um, it's definitely a temptation that is hard to overlook. <laughs> and then here we have the one up factory and i would consider this one like the flagship store and this store is just loaded to the brim with merchandise a lot of stuff that could really um, go well in all of your game rooms or your personal gaming spaces there was no shortage of plushy dolls i mean look at all this and i want to say this whole section was like freaking like way up there like 10 feet just kind of loaded with uh with all these plushy dolls and they're constantly restocking and then we have like more figures here. And I imagine like these figures are potentially exclusive to uh, Universal Studios Japan. However, I'm sure there's a few resellers out there uh, making it available. But, you know, we have this little necklace here for uh, 15,000 yen, 10,000 yen for the watch, which is what, like about 70 some bucks. And then we, ha we have like this little hologram. This one was actually, you know, I was thinking about this one, but at the end of the day, I had other game shops to go to, but all sorts of little snacks here. And of course, we have apparel, all sorts of sweaters, sweatshirts for kids, adults. Look at this one. This one's actually kind of neat. Very colorful. Look, stuff for the whole family. You know, we have people walking by with their hats. The hats were about like uh, 4,000 yen, if I remember correctly. 
which is like about 30 some odd dollars. I do like that Yoshi hat and all these other things. But yeah, like a lot, like I said, a lot of this stuff was uh, definitely tempting. And it was a little bit difficult to shoot because when you go into this store, you know, it's just going to be loaded with people and everybody's just kind of all over, you know, just kind of browsing, spending that money. You know how it goes. And then, of course, we have our pins, all sorts of little knickknacks. I ended up picking up a few things from this location as well. Got the Bullet Bill hat. That's actually pretty neat. Teresa. We have uh, the little uh, the ghost, which is commonly, in, I think, in the, you know, in back home in the States, uh, Boo. But all, the, like, all these little keychains, all these things. And the, the prices like kind of vary, like usually between a thousand up to like uh, 16,000 yen. Which, you know, if you're dealing with dollar, dollars, euro, pounds, pounds sterling, you know, that's going to be a little bit uh, less expensive at the moment. But just all look at all this cool stuff. Now, I understand like a lot of this stuff is not really needed. But <laughs> as I said, when you're in the moment, the you know, that that euphoria of, of <laughs> Nintendo just kind of hits you and it's it's really uh, tempting and it goes well in the game room especially if you like your game room just cluttered with all this stuff which can have like a nice vibe and even mugs look at all these mugs some water bottles and they had other stuff that I, I, I was that I, I just didn't have time to film, but I did have time to film all the holiday seasonal items. Like we have this uh, this holiday reef. Now this one is coming in at three thousand five hundred yen, which is like twenty some odd dollars. And they had all sorts of other ornaments. And as you will see here coming up, you'll see that they even had a Christmas tree, a Nintendo themed Christmas tree. My goodness. And of course, all sorts of snacks. We got the Snowman Mario. That's actually pretty neat. But I, I wonder, I think this stuff is actually available outside of the park. Maybe. Don't quote me on that. But we even have the slippers. Look at this. Joyful holidays. <laughs> like the sweaters. But here's the Christmas tree. Look at this. They have the Christmas tree and the ornament set. A set of four there. And the Christmas tree is coming in at 23,000 yen. I'm just going to be guessing here, but that, that could be like close to about 200 bucks, 190 bucks. And then snacks. These snacks actually make like a good uh, holiday gift. They're coming in at 15,000. They have a nice little packaging there. And some of them have the tin, the little tin can. I actually didn't pick up any snacks myself, but you betcha I was thinking about it. But guys, that's pretty much the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this. I had a great time at Super, Nint Super Nintendo World. But in the next episode, we're going to continue the In the Hunt series. We're at another hard off in Tochigi. A lot of great hardware, a lot of great games, a lot of little interesting things. And this one will be dropping soon. Anyhow, my name is JJ. Thank you for checking out Retro Rewire. And I hope to see you all very, very soon. Ciao.